So our project relied on a variable resistor, the pressure sensor, an Arduino, an op amp, and a relay switch. The variable resistor had its differing voltage amplified by the amplifier sent to the Arduino. The Arduino made sense of this information and according to our code, either closed or opened the relay switch, which allowed the power supply to supply sufficient power to our solenoid to open or close that and fill our water bottle. Meanwhile, the water would fill, increase pressure on the sensor, and update the Arduino until the point where it was full and the relay switch would close, stopping the solenoid. also included in our circuit a switch and a light. So the reason for the LED and the reason for the switch were both preventionary methods and also for us to test if our circuit was working properly. So the light, what happened essentially is that the um, circuit that we had over here that sent the code to the Arduino and let it know whether or not to um, tell the switch to open or close the solenoid, basically what we had it before we actually tested the solenoid was just this light. So if the light was on, that means that the water bottle should be filling, and if the light was off, that means that it shouldn't be filling. So then when we tested it, before we had the solenoid and got water everywhere, we just had the LED to help us with that. The next preventionary thing we added was this switch, and exact, exactly for the same reason I said before. If we attach a solenoid and water went everywhere, we wanted a way to be able to stop the water immediately. So we created this switch, which essentially let us turn off the power to the solenoid because what the solenoid was being powered by was a power supply. So this switch allowed us to immediately turn off the power supply, i.e. stop the water from coming down. One of the major stumbling blocks of this project was getting the pressure sensor, uh, which was wedged or placed between two laser cut pieces of acrylic uh, to make consistent readings. Um, and the reason why this is problematic was because uh, the bottle could be placed in any number of positions on our platform, which had a relatively large radius compared to the very small surface area of the pressure sensor. Um, so uh, possible ways this could have been improved um, were if we were to take uh, uh, PVC piping or other material to create a pocket uh, for the bottle, that way users would place bottle in a more precise location and uh, this would lend itself to the uh, pressure sensor um, taking more precise measurements um, or by simply using more uh, pressure sensors um, in tandem uh, as a way of expanding the surface area of the pressure being measured.